Pre, will the government take up the death of Captain Saurabh Kalia with the International Court of Justice? That's what the Supreme Court wants to know 13 years after the young captain was brutally murdered along with five men, five of his own soldiers, when he spotted the Pakistani incursion in Kargil. A glimmer of hope finally for the Kaliyas fighting for 13 years to get justice for their son, Captain Saurabh Kalia. He and five other men of his team were the first martyrs of Kargil. They had first reported Pakistani intrusion in Kargil. The enemy captured the six men. Their mutilated bodies were returned by Pakistan after three weeks. Today, responding to the father's petition for raising the issue at the International Court of Justice at The Hague, the top court sought a response from the centre saying, We fully share your agony. This is an important issue, and if the government wants, it can take up the issue with the International Court of Justice. Dr. Kalia has been wanting the Indian government to pressurize Pakistan to apologize, identify and punish the Pakistani soldiers responsible for the barbaric torture of Captain Kalia, a blatant violation of the Geneva Convention. Ironically, the Supreme Court's notice came on a day Pakistan's Interior Minister, Rahman Malik, landed in the capital. Pakistan <laughs> मंत्री आए हैं उनके साथ इस इशू को उठाना है या नहीं उठाना ये तो ये तो सभी कारण सरकार के ऊपर निर्भर है। When the fight is going on the border, we really don't know whether he was killed with a with a with a bullet of Pakistani bullet or he he died because of the weather. Pakistan also realizes the weight of the public opinion in India and takes uh, all the steps which are essential in order to bring the perpetrators to justice. However, sources say the center is silent on the question of taking the issue to the International Court of Justice due to compulsions. The government of India, it seems, itself is in a bind. For when it joined the International Court of Justice, it had put in very stringent conditions. The main being that the International Court of Justice cannot arbitrate between Commonwealth countries unless both of them agree. Now the worry of New Delhi is that if it were to change these conditions and appeal before the International Court of Justice, it would give Pakistan a way out to bring in other frivolous issues to embarrass India. Just after the Kargil War, India had shot down Pakistan's Atlantic aircraft in the Bhuj Rajasthan sector. Pakistan wanted to raise the issue before the International Court of Justice, but India blocked it, citing the above clause. Though the Supreme Court shares the agony of the Kalia family, it has got its own limitations and it's looking up to the centre to sort out this issue. Reluctant to get into this controversy, centre wants the court to bail it out. In New Delhi, with Sudhir Ranjan Sen, this is Arunachalam Vaidyanathan for NDTV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.